What if the ninja were villains? What would they look like? In this video, we're gonna recreate every ninja, but if they had a villain arc. Let's go. Let's start with Eren. He has been training to be a ninja for years. And when he finally meets them, they failed their first mission with him and didn't save his parents. Kind of like Harumi. But Eren had a good heart. He could have gone. Fine. I'll do it myself. And taking his revenge by trying to be way better than these guys. So for his look, we're gonna get him a black mask, his grappling gun, just like Batman. A shoulder pad, a ninja sword that he could have found lying around somewhere, a big metal fist to break the ninja ways, and let's change his pants with black and grey ones. Or the story could have gone a little different. He could have landed in Imperium and joined their army, cause he really got along with these kids. So let's give him this outfit from a claw hunter with the golden shoulder pads, a black mask, his grappling gun, and Raz hammer, because he could have taken him under his wing. Or should I say? Close because he's a tiger. Next is Lloyd. The Lloyd? This one was already a villain from the beginning. In the beginning? The beginning. But it's okay, because he's a good guy now. But imagine if he had never been the Green Ninja and stayed a very annoying kid. He could look like this. We're gonna give him Steve Spence. <laughs> Commandant's torso, Lloyd's headpiece, of course, Duh. and this creepy person's black hood piece. <laughs> and now he looks really annoying again. We can also make mini Lloyd with these smaller legs. I got another theory. If the green ninja gets a creepier form, like a variant of his powers, that makes his green energy way too powerful for him to control, and that it makes him a villain. Yeah, that's very specific. He's gonna get the legs from his jungle suit, the torso from his pinjit to burst minifig, this transparent green face, where he looks super pissed off, and this black hood. Lloyd is not gonna get his traditional sword. Instead, let's build a new weapon. It kinda looks like the weapon used by the wolf in Puss in Boots. Now he looks like a pretty OP villain right now. I'm a tall glass of water. Uh, Nia is the last person of the show I would see as a villain. I'm gonna kill you! <clears throat> well, um, actually, in Seabound, she turned into the ocean and almost forgot about the rest of the team. That's not true! Kinda like Jay in the new season. So imagine only bad guys had removed her elemental powers with the staff. She would have no idea that she's a ninja and could have been influenced by the villains. By the way, it's just a theory. So I'm gonna use her suit from the energy power drift spinner. I love the transparent blue arms. Now let's remove the mask and give her some oxygen tanks. We're gonna add these water pieces because they look cool and place them here. Let's turn her face to this side and give her a breathing device. And let's get the air cut. For the pants, we got two options. The first First one is these dark blue pants, and the second one is pixel leg piece. Well, you know what it's gonna be. It looks pretty good, but let's give her this trident with this blaster. I attach this transparent blue piece to it. That can be a powerful water gun. If Nia doesn't remember Jay and she's also a villain, I think he's gonna be pretty sad. But it's okay, because he has video games. Remember when he was stuck in Prime Empire? Bro was having a great time. Almost didn't really care about them entering the game to save him. Imagine if he was one of the boss fight in the game. The others would have been shocked. So let's build Jay. Let's give him this leg piece. His Prime Empire torso, but Kai's transparent red arms. Now he needs a shoulder pad, Scott's face, because I don't have Avatar J. No! We need his headpiece with a headband, and for the accessories, this weapon from this pink guy, two red swords, and of course, the health bar. And the final touch, J needs Master Chicken, because it masters lightning, apparently. Also, he has the League of J. Huh? Hey yo, what the f Now I think it's gonna be a more challenging level for Cole. Harder than expected, but I'm almost done customizing my avatar. Bruh. Speaking of Cole, let's give him an intimidating outfit. With black and grey pants, the torso and the face of this minifigure from the spingy to burst spinners. Then let's give him this black mask from the most recent suits. We got this haircut, or we can give him this one what? to change things a little. And finally, he got the swords and these weapons that are mostly used by Pixel. Doesn't he look like a villain? I don't have a backstory for him though. Huh? Next we got Zayn. I mean, he's like an AI, so if he lags or something, the Ice Ninja could go mad. And it already happened in season 12, when Zayn was the Ice Emperor. Let's do something different. So for this one, I looked up on YouTube and I found this tutorial that made me able to build something close to this mech. And there you go. Now we just need to put Zayn in it. 
He still has this uncomfortable villain smile. What we can do is also build something that doesn't even look human, since he's a robot. So let's take these black legs, this suit, because Zen is still a classy AI. But we're gonna remove the arms. What is that? And take this from the Ninjago Snake Army what? and put it on Zane. Let's add Zane's face, but we're gonna turn it around. That way he has one robot eye. Now we can take the face of the new minifigures and turn it to this side. And we're done. But it needs something more. Guns. Ah, there you go. We get to my favorite ninja, Kai. This guy wanted to be the green ninja so bad. Could I be the green ninja? I should have been the green ninja! He almost did like Moro. Nope. He would have made a pretty good villain. Let's give him these Prime Empire pants with Lloyd's torso from the Tournaments of Elements, a black mask with this side of his face, his haircut, and this black knife. Kai! Look at you pathetic fools. He even has a villain name. So I'm gonna get slightly inspired by Kung Fu Panda 3. But instead of green, he's gonna keep the color red. He's gonna get these pants from this Lego Shima minifig. The torso from these Spinjitsu Burst Spinners This happy looking face <laughs> Instead of his haircut, he gets a metal hat Now he won't get swords as weapons Instead I'm gonna try to recreate Kai's blades and chains So I'll need Jay's nunchucks oh! And some blades And we're just gonna attach it to his hands and Now he's looking pretty cool Next is Master Wu. We all know that he loves his tea. Secret tea. Secret tea. 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 So what if he took the wrong one? That would make him a bad guy. Or there was also that time when he was holding the staff with the forbidden spinjitsu scrolls. Give me the tea! And he was pretty angry. So to make that weapon, I took this little flag from this Lego set that I built and reviewed in this video. You can take this piece and attach all of them together. Now for Master Wu's outfit. Let's use Garmadon's leg piece. With this guy's torso, Master Wu's head and his beard, and this purple hat. And now he's gonna drink even more tea. Tea, tea, tea. Oh no, he's got the tea and the forbidden Spinjitsu staff. It's too much power. The scroll has given him power. <laughs> At last we get to Sora. In the first part of the season, we saw that she was super smart. I mean, she basically created an indestructible Pokemon at like 10 years old. It's called a Foytak. With her smart mind, she would have probably taken the place of the Empress if she didn't care about the other Sora. So here's what she would look like as the Empress. We can also make Sora look like a crazy scientist with this prison outfit, some glass with pink chemicals in it, and a knife. Now that I think about it, if she's the master of technology, does that mean that she can hack Zane in Pixel? No! It can't be! So here's every ninja as a villain. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite, and also what backstory is the best. My favorite are Nia, Master Wu, and Lloyd, but the most creepy is this version of Zane.